Now let me go back to irrigation schedule. Okay, so what do we have here? Again, there are several options here that we can take. So the first one here, what you can do is to click this option. So if you have anything that you want to change, you can change it from here. Now let me click here options. Okay, so you can just decide uh, when do you want to irrigate. So I want to irrigate at critical depression level. Okay, so as you can see here, ir irrigate at 100 critical depression or you can even choose the other approaches from here. So for me, I'll just maintain this one. It get at 100% of critical depletion. And again, we have a irrigation application. So we want to apply water to refill soil at the field capacity. Again, you can change the uh, methodology or approach from here. For me, I'll just want to irrigate to uh, maintain root, uh, root zone at field capacity, just like that. So refill soil uh, content as refill soil moisture content to 100% of field capacity. Again, the next important parameter here is irrigation efficiency. Now, it depends on what irrigation method that you are using. If you are using surface irrigation, for example, canal, I expect you to have here the, the lowest values. Let's say from 40 to 50, 40 to 50. So you can even put here 40 if you are using canal. Of course, it depends on your uh, irrigation method that you want to use for me i just assume that i'm using drip irrigation method so from here i'll just maintain 90. so if you have anything else you can change you can change it from here so from here i can just click okay just like that so it your station again is this one rainfall station this one crop name this and uh soil name this one so planting date and having and harvesting date Yield reduction factor, just maintain zero, no problem. So table format, I, I want to use this one. You can even use this. So for me, I'll just use this. So timing. So from here, all of these settings here are going to appear here. So timing, you get at uh, critical depression. Application, refill to field capacity. Uh, field efficiency, of course, I just chose uh, 90%. Okay, so from here, as you can see here, we have stage stage which is development stage we have mid stage and all the and, and all those stuffs ks factor we have eta depletion level net irrigation so if you take net irrigation divided by 0 0.9 okay 0 0.9 you are going to get this gross irrigation which is 43 now at the develop, at the development stage we need 0 0.1 liters per second per hectare Okay, so for me, I just assume drip irrigation because of this highest value of field efficiency, we only require this amount of water, which is 0 0.1 liters per second per hectare. This is development stage. At the mid stage, of course, this is the stage where, so this is this is stage here where we require a full irrigation or the highest uh, amount of water. Okay, so this is the mid season. So from here, as you can see here, we need uh, 0 0.3 uh, and the highest being 0 0.46 liters per hectare. So that is scheduling. Of course, you can just go and even look to this data here. So for me, that is what I have now. Let me click on option. We are done. Let me click charts. This is what we have. Okay. Again, this one is uh, total available moisture and this is uh, depression. So as you can see here. You can even close just like that. So I'll just maintain here. 